Blessed day everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. I taught in Philippine Science High School for 18 years and was the head of the math department or math unit for a time. You can use this review for your Philippine Science High School entrance exam, for your Ateneo, La Salle, or any science or non-science high school entrance exam for grade 7. I made sure that the math questions here are of the level of Philippine Science High School. Please don't forget to press the bell button and subscribe. Thank you! Okay, problem number one. This is Philippine Science High School Review, part five. Problem number one. In an election, the votes of Sam and Patty were in the ratio four is to five. If there were 45 voters, how many did, did Sam get? Sam, now let's focus with Sam. Sam here got the ratio of four parts. The first one, the four parts. So, in problems like this, it is very easy if you add the total ratios, you have nine, meaning there are nine parts in all. And you check the num total number of voters too. You have 45. So divide 45 by the nine parts. 45 divided by nine is five meaning there are five per part there are five per part therefore you multiply this by four parts you get 20 so sum got 20 the correct answer is letter a let's move to problem number two two numbers are in the ratio of five is to six if the sum is 121 what are the the two numbers easy similar to problem number one get the total parts five means five parts six means six parts get the total parts you have a total of 11 parts and then the sum is 121 so divide 121 by 11 you get 11 11 per part what are the two numbers? Multiply 11 by 5. That gives you 55. That's the first number. And then multiply 11 by 6. That gives you 66. That is the second number. So the two numbers are 55 and 66. So the correct answer is letter C for number 2. Next problem. Problem number 3. Three numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 6. This time you now have three numbers, so it's still easy. The middle number is 28. What is the largest number? The middle number has four parts. Remember, this is the middle, 4. But we are asked to find the largest number. So the largest is now. 6 6 here it has 6 parts now what you can do is since it is the middle number which is given so you divide 28 by 4 that is 7 meaning we're getting 7 per part so since we have 7 per part we multiply 7 by 6 why? The largest has six parts, so seven times six gives us 42. So the final answer is letter D, 42. Problem number four, what completes the equation? Mm. Look at the this, which is on the left side. Do you see here? You just have to add 3 plus 4 is 7. So the answer here must be 7. There. So the correct answer is letter C. 
Problem number five. Each floor in an apartment building has eight apartments. The apartment building has 12 floors. Which of the following determines the number of apartments in the building? There are eight apartments per floor. Eight apartments per floor. And there are 12 floors. So, the problem is asking for the number of apartments. So, all you have to do is to multiply this. 8 times 12 is equal to N. There, letter A. Correct answer is letter A. What number will make blank times blank equal 16 true? Would you believe that when we teach in the tutorial center, many make a mistake here? Sometimes out of 20 students, only one gets the correct answer because it's kind of tricky. Other students will answer A and D because 2 times 8 is 16. No. It says they're blank times blank. Meaning to say, these two numbers must be the same. So the correct answer is letter B. Why? 4 times 4 is 16. You realize that? Okay, don't be tricked. We still have another problem, which is problem number 7. Which set below has the same number of elements as the set whose elements are square, triangle, circle? This is another problem, which is super easy, but many students get wrong here. Why? Because they are trying to choose an option which has a square, which has a triangle, and which has a circle. They are not reading the problem well. Let's read the problem again. Which set below has the same number? The same number. So you just have to count the number of elements. One, two, three. So the correct answer is what? Letter A. There are one, two, three elements in letter A. We're done. So before we leave, don't forget to subscribe again. Press the subscribe and the bell button. And don't forget to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Thank you.